Today we will discuss about Kem profile. At the end of this video, you will be able to draw displacement diagram and Kem profile for nine page follower with uniform acceleration. So welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Engineering Management. So let's see the description. Draw the profile of a Kem operating in nine page follower. Follower leaps through forty mm. So it is stroke length. It is the ascent angle. The follower remains at rest means twelve period. The follower then descends to its original position during ninety degree rotation of the cam. That means descent angle. The follower remains at rest means next remaining twelve period. The least radius of the cam is fifty mm. So it is the radius of the base circle. The motion during ascent and descent is uniform acceleration. So this is a very important part, and that will affect on the displacement diagram. Next, the line of stroke of the follower passes through the axis of the camshaft. That means the offset distance is zero, and so that there is no need to draw offset circle as well as the tangent lines. This is the description as we have discussed, and here I have written the same description in the summarized form. So let's start first with the displacement diagram. So draw the horizontal line with random length, and draw the vertical line that is equal to the stroke length, and that is given to you 40 mm. Then draw the horizontal line again. Now take the scale as one centimeter is equal to ten degree, so that the length of the outstroke is equal to ten centimeter. Then next, dwell is eighty degree, so the length of the dwell period is eight centimeter. Then next, return stroke is ninety degree, so the length of the return stroke is nine centimeter. And next, remaining dwell is ninety degree, so the length of the dwell period is nine centimeter. But if you can't accommodate it into your sketchbook, then you can use this symbol. Now divide the outstroke into the six equal parts and give the name as zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and draw the vertical lines passing through all these six points. Similarly, divide the return stroke into the six equal parts. And give the name as zero dash one dash up to six dash. Now draw the vertical lines passing through all these points. Now, as you can see, follower with uniform acceleration for both ascent and descent angle, and so that you have to divide this vertical center line of the outstroke into the six equal parts and give the name. As E, B, C, D, E, and F. Now join this zero A with the straight line, then zero B and zero C. Similarly, you can understand this remaining work. Now mark the intersection point as A, B, C, D, E, and F. Now draw the smooth curve. Which must pass through this zero A B C D E and F. Similarly, you can follow the same procedure for the return stroke, because in our description it is given to you that uniform acceleration and uniform retardation for both outstroke and return stroke. So first divide the vertical center line. Of the return stroke into the six equal parts and give the name as a dash b dash up to f dash. Join six dash a dash six dash b dash six dash c dash, and you can understand the remaining work. Now mark the intersection points as G H I J K and L. So keep in mind that. During the ascent angle, the follower leaps 
and for the return stock it will be once again comes to its original position so your smooth curve will be start from g h i j k l and 6 dash and this is the dwell period so it must be horizontal line so this is your displacement diagram now for the cam profile so let's take any one point randomly and give the name as o through the vertical center line passing through this o point next through the base circle with minimum radius as 50 mm with the help of the compass here you can see the direction of the cam rotation is given to you as clockwise direction and so that you have to take these all angles in the anti-clockwise direction means opposite to this direction from this reference line so first 100 degree then 80 degree and then 90 degree and so that automatically the remaining angle will be 90 degree that you can do with the help of the protector now divide this outstroke into the six equal parts because of you have divided this outstroke into the six equal part in displacement diagram and give the name as 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 as you have given in the displacement diagram similarly divide the return stroke into the six equal parts and give the name as 0 dash 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash and 6 dash as you have given in the displacement diagram now transfer this distance 1a on this line with the help of the compass similarly transfer this 2b distance on this line with the help of the compass similarly 3c next 4d next 5e next 6f similarly you can transfer this distance 0 dash g next 1 dash h next 2 dash i next 3 dash j next 4 dash k next 5 dash l now i have erased the remaining portion but it is not required to do the same in the examination now draw the smooth curve which must pass through this 0 a b c d e f g h i j k l and 6 dash and then once again up to 0 so keep in mind that here you can draw this arc and from here to here these are with the help of the compass so this is the cam profile so in the examination in this figure this cam profile only must be dark and the remaining work should be light if you want to see more engineering videos then subscribe my youtube channel and go to playlist thanks my dear friends Press the like button to appreciate this video.